We like to think that pain is something we all avoid. And yet there are people out there that will purposely eat extremely hot spicy food despite the eye-watering pain they go through to consume that food. There are also others that love to partake in sadomasochistic sexual acts, feeling the rush of pain in the midst of intimacy. Even when it comes to emotional pain, there are countless individuals who will remain in toxic relationships with people, dealing with anxiety and stress throughout, and choosing not to leave. So why is it that while in some ways, we find ourselves finding pleasure in pain? And is there any relationship between them within the brain? Before we get into that, please click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to get updated with every upload we do. Help us deliver more content on brain behavior and business, and let's continue with the video. One explanation as to why some pain gives us innate mild pleasure is that pain itself causes a central nervous system to release endorphins. For a refresher, these are chemicals that our brain releases to help cope with stress and pain by giving us a slight rush of euphoria. This is a very evident in forms of exercise that require you to exert a burst of intense energy, from sex to jogging. Anybody who has run regularly is familiar with the term runner's high. This is because as your body exerts high amounts of energy bursts, it releases halactic acid which then triggers the pain receptors in the muscles. As this occurs, electrical signals are sent throughout the spine to the brain. The surge of signals alerts the hippocampus, the crucial part of the brain involved in memory learning and spatial navigation. And the natural response that comes thereafter is for your body to release the endorphins as a way to deal with the sudden burst of pain and irritation. While initially, the point of this endorphin release is to block the pain, it can even go further by stimulating the limbic and prefrontal parts of the brain which are associated with pleasure. In addition to this, intense exercises such as sex or a workout can release anandamide, which attaches itself to the brain's receptors to help block pain and instead create a sense of warmth and pleasure. Finally, to add to that even further, your body produces adrenaline as well, which raises a person's heart rate and in turn sense of excitement. With all of these chemicals aimed at blocking pain and inevitably leading to providing pleasure, it's no wonder why things can sometimes feel so good even though we're suffering. Besides this rush of momentary bliss, we feel physiologically, what else motivates us to seek for such painful yet pleasurable experiences? In the journal Neuron, a study done in 2019 led by CSHL professor Bo Lee, they examined how there are two distinct classes of neurons controlling positive and negative motivation. This ability to recognize rewards and punishments is determined by the ventral pallidum, a part of the brain in the basal ganglia that relates to reward, learning, hedonics, and motivation. The researchers of the study found that the neurotransmitter known as GABA was responsible for motivating animals to seek some reward, aka receive pleasure. However, when seeking to avoid pain, the neurotransmitter known as glutamate was involved. It is this constant balancing act between the two signals that motivate an animal to do either or action. And when we are experiencing a genuine depression and or anxiety, there is an imbalance in these two, which is why our motivation to seek the positive and avoid the negative often gets skewed. In the end, pain and pleasure, interestingly enough, involve the same brain circuitry, making them closely intertwined together. As evident from a study done at the Massachusetts General Hospital, conducted together with assistant professor of radiology Lino Becquera, Hans Breather, and others, they found from brain scans that when heating a subject's hand hot enough for it to hurt or cause discomfort, the activity associated with this pain was similar to those experiencing pleasure from food, drugs, sex, and more. Studies like this demonstrate that we have a single system that responds to the range of emotions of pain and pleasure. All we go through is all part of the same brain. So with this clear understanding of pain and pleasure in the brain and how they come from the same place, we can learn to treat and perceive pain a bit differently. By doing so, we may be able to understand why and how to react to things more effectively. The brain is a powerful thing. Knowing about pain and pleasure can help you hack your life in a day a bit better. To learn more about our brain and behavior, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and continue to learn more as we help you mine the gold in mine.